Hello, this is Bryce from Smiteworks, and welcome to our new Fantasy Grounds Quick Start Guide, updated as of January 25th, 2024. This guide will be broken up into many smaller segments, each one a self-contained guide that you can use for your Fantasy Grounds games. Part number one will be focused on creating a campaign and getting that set up. As these continue, we will include more information on more topics for GMs and players with GM and player videos separate so that you only have to watch what you need and want to learn. Let's begin. We will not be covering how to install Fantasy Grounds. We assume that you've already gotten the program installed and are looking at the launcher screen like this. Campaigns are your games. It will hold all of the modules and books and information you need, as well as be what you invite players into. So think of campaigns as the game. It's your table. All right, to create a new campaign, we're just gonna come over to create campaign right here, right under load campaign. Click create. You could select your rule set from the rule sets options. We are going to go with Dungeons and Dragons 5e for now but the same steps will apply to Pathfinder 2e, Pathfinder Legacy, Savage Worlds, Shadow of the Demon Lord, and any other rule sets you have. Next, we're gonna name the campaign, name it whatever you wish for this. We will just name this Vandelver, since that will be the module we are going to be using for further explanations. After you've got it named, we're gonna move over to the extensions area. Extensions are like modifications to Fantasy Grounds. Some of them are made by us at Smiteworks and some of them are made by the community. They can be found at the Fantasy Grounds Forge. There's a link in the description for more info on that. For this, although it's not required, we will be selecting theme D&D official. I like the look of it and it's a pretty neutral base theme for everyone to look at. However, you can pick whichever one you want and the buttons will be roughly in the same position. They just might look a little different. After you've selected all of the extensions you intend to use, we're going to move up to this little bubble where you'll see password, server type, and server list. This is how you are going to invite your players. Land hosting is a legacy feature brought over from Fantasy Grounds Classic. It is still fully functional, however, it is not directly supported nor recommended by Smiteworks. We will be going with cloud hosting, as should you. If you select cloud hosting, all games will be hosted through Fantasy Grounds, making it easier than ever before to connect to your players. Down here in the server list, there's two options, public and private. Public goes into a big list on the Join Campaigns tab. Private keeps that game out of the join campaigns tab but it's still nice and easy to join all your players have to do is type your username into the join by gm name more information on that will be in the players version of this video for this we will select public you can enter a password if you wish to keep your game locked down so that random people cannot join and finally we'll come down to start and we let fantasy grounds do its thing after Fantasy Grounds loads in, you will be met with a screen similar to this, although your theme may vary depending on what you've chosen. This will conclude our how to create a campaign for Game Masters. The following video will be how players can join into your campaign. To keep up to date on these guides, make sure you click the subscribe button and ring that bell. And if the video was helpful, leave a like. You can learn more about Fantasy Grounds at fantasygrounds.com.